Well, Tom, Central Valley School District has laid out their plan for students. As fall classes begin to inch closer, the major takeaway is that students will not be inside of the classrooms as school begins in the fall because of the coronavirus. Instead, they're presented with three different choices to choose from on how they'll further their education. First up, first option they have is school paced virtual learning with preference to transition to in-person classes when schools are able to reopen. The courses will be led by teachers in the school district and whatever the health district gives schools the go ahead to have classes in person, students who choose this route will go back to classroom learning. The second option available is school paced virtual learning that allows students to stay virtual for the entire school year. This option lets students keep their same virtual teachers throughout the year. It also benefits teachers who aren't comfortable getting back into the classroom themselves. The final option is self paced virtual learning. This allows students to work at their own pace over the school year. They'll be guided by teachers in the district, but families are going to play a big role in their students' learning throughout the year. August 21st is the date that Central Valley is asking students and their families to make a decision on what option they'd like to choose. Parent chooses that uh, option of the rest of the year. They would have a consistent teacher throughout the school year. Um, and then if they were able to transition back to either the in-person environment, um, we could do so based on space availability. Um, but it does ensure that they're going to have that continuity across uh, the entire school year and ensures a staff member um, that they are in an environment they're comfortable with as well. Ben Small is the superintendent for the district and he says they're ready to provide high quality education that meets families and students where they are. The district has plans for an in-person model at every grade level. Conditions may change though and that's why they believe these three options are most beneficial for students. Earlier I mentioned August 21st. That's the day they, they want parents and students to recommend what they would like to do for the three different options. That isn't a set in stone date. So if you don't have an answer before that or you decide to change your mind, they are able and a little bit flexible to set you in and maybe bring you back into the classrooms. But definitely a different kind of year for students all across the board. Live from Central Valley, Brandon Jones, Crim2 News.